The gooey duck clam, it's also called giant clam, and it is, and you'll see it in a second, it's very strange looking. They come from the Pacific Northwest, and it's just, I mean, the, it looks like just a giant clam, and then there's this long, what they call a siphon coming out of it that really changes the appearance a lot. Changes it how? changes it how. Uh, it gives it a little bit of a phallic appearance actually. Um, the gooey duck from my understanding comes from in whatever language it originated in it actually means um, like genitals or something along those lines due to the appearance of the clam. It's interesting I think because it's um, really other than humans that fish for them there's no predator or natural enemies that live for a very long time and my understanding is they get very large. Is the one you have right now large? It's pretty big. It's pretty. It's it's pretty big. You know, um, I mean, you'll see it, but it's like it's about this big. And they you get them, and they need to what they call relax a little bit. When you get it, it's still alive. So you kind of have to hang it like over the edge of a sink or something else, and let the siphon kind of relax, and it will actually relax a lot and get longer as it sits. Wow, it's weird. So do they give you instructions on how to get your clam to relax? <laughs> you know, they're pretty easy. You just let them be and they, they, they chill out pretty well on their own. Yeah. It's just gonna go on for about 30 seconds. You'll see with uh, sushi restaurants a lot. It's like giant clam uh, sushi. But most of the time it's pretty much, you wanna do it raw or pretty close to raw. Down for a second. And was it alive when it went into the. Yes! Well, alive when it's going in. Not anymore, though. Alright, so when you pull it out, now it's as relaxed as it's ever gonna be. It's just like a little bit of membrane holding it on there that you wanna cut away. Now at this point there's two different things to do. We want to remove the skin and we want to remove what's essentially like the intestinal sac here. So I'm just going to cut this out. I'm going to take the skin off, which all pretty much comes off in one piece, and then I'm just going to rinse it off before we work with it any further. What I'm doing is, is a ceviche with part of it and then just gently warming the other part because they really, you know, will toughen up with too much cooking. Take it down to two parts. So we're going to deal with the siphon first. Now, is it Mirigai in sushi? sushi? Yes, that's okay. exactly right. That's exactly what it's called. And I went out and had some sushi in preparation for this as well. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and throw some lime juice on it and let it start marinating while we break down the mantle. So for the mantle... It's good, right? So we're going to slice it. Fairly, you know, fairly thin, but not crazy thin. Kind of like a crudo or a sashimi. We're gonna throw the pasta in here. It's all nicely coated with semolina so it shouldn't stick together. And then put it in this bowl here and we're gonna put the glue duck right in it. So the idea is just to warm it gently without really cooking it because it doesn't stand up great to being cooked. All right, so we got the pasta, we got the duke gooey duck. It's really good. I would put that on the menu if gooey duck wasn't so darn expensive. <laughs> you know, a lot of the time you'll see ceviche served with popcorn and kind of like an Ecuadorian or Peruvian style ceviche, um, where it's spice as an accompaniment as a sort of a garnish. So that's what we're gonna do here. I mean, you can do anything you wanted to here. I'm keeping it fairly simple. I've got uh, some chili fresno, a little bit of fresh red onion. This is uh, some extra virgin olive oil that I infused with a little bit of habanero pepper, so it's gonna have a little bit of heat to it. Roughly chopped cilantro. The nice thing about the siphon in this presentation is that it does have that nice bit of texture. It holds up really well. It gets like a little bit of crunch more than, you know, a normal. Sorry. <laughs> so we don't need much of it. And this is just a little spice mix. A few different spices to heat things up, make it interesting. What's in it? Secret recipe. So this is just a very simple sauce made with Anaheim chilies. And then we're 
We're just gonna throw some popcorn on top. Yeah, it's a great summer dish. A lot of heat, lots of lime, you know, a little bit of crunch from both the, the popcorn and the, the clam itself. Really delicious. I picked Lee Kubler, who is my old sous chef. So he was here at Ada Street for just shy of two years. He left uh, to go open his own restaurant in Libertyville. It's called Milwaukee Trace. Very, very, very cool place up in Libertyville.